Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do kind of like a skin routine video for you guys. I um, I don't know, I had a really great makeup day today and now I feel really good about being able to take it off. It doesn't look super impressive. I took my contacts out already, which is actually step one of my normal night skin routine. I just, um, I just felt like I really wanted to do a video. I haven't done one like this yet, and it kind of can showcase some certain products. I might be able to talk about them a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a voiceover for this. You guys, a lot of people that watch me have been saying that they're not really able to hear me, so I'm going to try to do a little bit better about the voiceover, try to figure out if I end up having to actually get a physical mic for it, then I will. Um, I've just been trying to go without it just to simplify everything that I have because I I live in an apartment, so I don't have a lot of space to be able to put a lot of things. So I'm just trying to, I'm really still trying to work on getting everything right. But um, I'm doing the best that I can. Hopefully it's not too echoey right now because I am in the bathroom. I figured it would be a lot easier to film it than do some like weird thing at a desk or something. You know. Um, so without any further ramblings on about things that I'm talking about today, let's go ahead and wash my face. Take all this makeup off, and then you can see what I look like all the time, or what I look like before I apply makeup. Same thing. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and take our glasses off, because uh, washing your face with the glasses on is weird. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie my hair back. I don't have a lot of it, but the stuff that I do have in my head, I want it out of my face. My makeup removing cloth is from Norwex. You can use any other kind that you would like as well. Um, everyone has one, or just use washcloth is fine as well. So what I'm going to start off with is this little, um, I have a little sample of the Ola Hendrickson, the 3-in-1 Melting Cleanser. This is an oil-based sort of jelly. It is amazing for being able to break down any sort of long-wearing, water-resistant type of um, makeup. The best way to apply this is with dry hands and with a dry face. You just kind of rub it between your fingers and go ahead and rub it on your face. As you can see, it is definitely safe to be able to put on your eyes. In fact, this is the only cleanser that I have ever used in which I would have been able to put it on my eyes to get my mascara off and it didn't burn me. So I absolutely love it. Three, three thumbs up in my book, honestly. To proceed to go ahead and once you've kind of worked that all through, you're able to wipe that off using a damp cloth, such as I have here. Um, I do like any other ones. I think there's Sephora has a makeup eraser one, which is a little fluffier. I just gravitate towards this one because I've had it longer, and I, I just it's a little bit smaller, so I like working with it. Plus, then I can show you really, you know, gross leftover makeup like, uh, you know, what I'm going to show you here because it's so attractive. Mmm. -mm. So for my double cleansing, so my second cleansing step, I'm going to use the Pure Lease. This is a cleanser I got in like a birch box or Ipsy, something like that. Um, I actually put it on the cloth this time and then I work it on my face. I always double cleanse because I wear a, I wear a lot of makeup and I just want to ensure that I'm getting everything off of there. But the 3-in-1 cleanser really would be good enough. I just, this is just what I do. So next I'm going to go into an exfoliant here. This is from Peter Thomas and Roth. For the life of me, I cannot remember what it's called, but it is, um, it has some um, plant cellulose that really helps um, get any of the dead skin cells that you have on your face. So you, what you do is you basically, um, with a dry face, you go ahead and um, rub that on your face using circular motions. And with that plant cellulose, it actually goes ahead and grabs onto the hairs, not hairs, the, the skin cells that you have in your face, so you're able to get them off of there. Um, so you just work that through. Make sure you're leaning over a sink uh, because this does tend to, when it falls up, it will fall down. So you want to make sure that you're over, over something because it will fall off. <laughs> it looks grosser than it actually is. It's A lot of it's the plant fibers more than your skin. So then once you're done, you can go ahead and get rub that off again with a nice damp cloth such as this one here.
Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Dr. Brandt. This is the Pore Vacuum. Um, it's, a, it's basically a little mask that you put on um, the areas that you have problems with your pores, any dirt in there, and it helps get that out of there. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this one particularly. I do like my Glam Glow mask better, but this is something that I had on hand, so I figured I would use it for the time being. So now that it's been five minutes, as you can see, it gives this ghostly white appearance. You're just going to go ahead and rinse that off as well. You don't need to. You don't need to proceed with another cleanser after this. Just make sure that you rinse it off really, really good, and then you're you're good to go. So for my actual mask, I'm going to use the Peter Thomas and Roth Rose Stem Cell Mask. This is really good for hydrating toning and uh, revitalizing the skin. Um, I do leave this in the refrigerator, which is why I was making that funny face. It is super cold, but it feels absolutely refreshing on the face to be able to have that. This is a beautiful mask. It doesn't look like a mask just because it is translucent, but it is so wonderful if you have issues with, you know, you just need something to look a little more youthful. Maybe you just have dull and dry skin. This is really, really great, and I do have very dry skin, so I like to be able to, uh, give as much moisture as I can, which helps in uh, radiancy. All right, so 10 minutes later, and uh, as you can see, I have some weird crap on my lips. Um, I did go ahead and put a mask that I got, a lip mask that I got from Mary Kay. Um, I don't remember what it's called, and I don't even think they have it anymore. Um, but I just wanted to put that on there as well, because you let that sit on for 10 minutes also. Now I'm just proceeding to go ahead and rinse that off of there. Um, this, if you apply it very thinly, you can leave it on overnight. I just preferred not to because I was showing my entire night routine, um, but I have done it before and it does feel beautiful the next day. So next I'm gonna go in with, sorry for the non-label showing. Um, it is a Paracone, the Blue Plasma Cleansing Treatment. So this can be doubled as, honestly, you can use it as a cleanser or a toner. Um, I use it as a toner. Paracone is absolutely wonderful. It is great for um, anti-aging properties. Um, I think it's wonderful. If you haven't heard about Paracone, you definitely should look into it, especially if you feel like you're getting fine lines and wrinkles. This is definitely the product line for you. Pretty punny, but totally worth it. I just put this on the cleansing pad, of course, and just uh, wiped that all over my face. So then just to be able to um, add some moisture to my lips, this is a mojito lip balm that I got in a Ipsy or Birch box, something like that. It just feels really nice. I like to have it at night. And this is my Clarins. This is the firming um, serum that they have, the contour serum. They have a contour line, which is really nice. It helps take away any fluids from the face um, when applied. So as you can see, I'm using pressing motions. Um, that is the proper way for this to be applied. Um, you'll also notice that I'm using some patting motions to generate some circulation to my face, which also helps getting this um, product to work. And you'll also notice that once I'm done with these pressing motions here, uh, the slight patting motions, you'll also use pressing motions by placing your hands or your head in your hands and letting the weight of your hands or your face be able to work that product in. And what it's doing is, is when that product is sinking in, it's help, helping take the fluids away from the face. So you do that for a couple of minutes. And then you can go on with your night wrink eye cream, wrinkle cream. This is my um, Clinique one I've had for a while. I have a couple of them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of eye creams, but I am working on other ways to apply it. As you can see, I'm using patting motions in a C form. Don't get too close to the eye, otherwise it can travel up and then you'll notice that your eyes will start to burn. Stick with patty motions, not rubbing motions, just because you don't want to stretch the skin. For my moisturizer, I am using the Benefit Total Moisturizer. This is another thing that I got in one of my subscription boxes. I really like this one just because it's simple. There's not too many things with it. I felt like, you know, I use a lot of really high-end products, 
and a lot of, you know, crazy products. I just wanted to try something that was just like, it's just a moisturizer, nothing major. And that is my routine. Thank you guys so much for watching.